to know who you ask, they'll tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the Veil to the Mongo spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Tales from the Hood vlog series, man. Stop what you're doing right now. Go stream or download all of my music. Snatch up every project, the whole catalog. Everything is available on all digital streaming platforms right now. Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, iTunes, Shazam, or wherever else you get your music at. It's there. So go run me up. I definitely appreciate every download and every stream. All right? With that being said, listen, I need you also to make sure that you follow my new Instagram account at realjhood underscore that name is going to be located at the bottom right hand corner of this video just in case you potheads forget all right now look let's get into today's episode what we're going to talk about today is the time that kanye west spun me now if you don't know what spun means i'm going to you know give you the exact definition of that word during this episode so let's go all right now there's a photo right of me Akon, uh, Young Jeezy, SP, um, Kanye, and um, Bumby, right? This photo was taken backstage of the I Declare War Tour. That's where Jay-Z and friends perform in New York and perform in Philly. And I was fortunate enough to be a part of that tour, right? Now, on an earlier episode, I spoke to you guys about this photo and about the tour. And I, you know, basically... Um, you know, told you guys how the experience was to perform with Jay-Z and to perform with Diddy. And, you know, I gave you a little context on the photo. Right now, that specific photo, I told you, I almost missed out on that because I was having a conversation with someone else when they was about to take the picture. But SP called me to tell me and told me to come get in the photo. So I ran over there and squeezed my way in it and I was able to make it, you know what I mean? Because I knew the photo was going to be monumental and historic. So I had to get up in there. All right. Now, I also told you that I spoke to Kanye briefly right after that on some real quick type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a long convo or anything like I basically told you that, you know, I told him that I rock with him. He told me to keep doing my thing, too. I'm doing my thing. And, you know, it, that was really it. But it was a few more other words. Now. I told him, I'm like, yo, it would, it would be honor to get you on the album. You know what I'm saying? That'd be crazy. I'm like, I already got Kwame. I got Alchemist on it. And I named probably like one other person. I just tried to sum up who I had on the album as quickly as possible because, you know, he was walking. He was on the move and all that. He was like, oh, you got Kwame? Okay. He was like, yo, um, oh, tell, tell Kiss to reach out to me. But I have my phone out. I'm not going to lie. Cause I was... I'm be honest, I kind of expected him to give me a contact on him, but he ain't do it. He was just like, yo, okay. He was just looking at me, okay. When I was telling him who I had, him, okay, just tell, tell kids to get at me. Or tell kids to reach out to me. I'm like, all right, cool. So, you know, I ain't taking it personal, but like I said, I thought the nigga was going to at least give me a contact or something. I don't know why, but he didn't. It was all good. It was cool. And I, you know, I ain't taking no way. I just told my, my former manager, I'm like, yo, I uh, asked the nigga Kanye to get on the album. He was like, what? Like, what, what do you say? I'm like, you just told me to tell Kiss reach out to him. You know what I'm saying? I took it like he was saying that Kiss knew how to get at him, if anything. So just tell him to make the connection and all that. So in a sense, he spun me, but he ain't like spin, spin me. Spin mean it, when, like, when somebody tell you whatever you want to hear just so you get out of their face. You feel me? So he ain't like really spin me. He hit me with a baby spin. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't give me, you know, his contact directly. But it wasn't an official spin. It was a baby spin. You feel me? And um, I mentioned it to Kiss, but Kiss didn't like follow up on it for whatever reason. And obviously it never took place. That's just like, you know, a lot of other things. Um, That's like the Wayne feature. I could have got the feature from Wayne. He told me he would do it. My manager just didn't follow up on it. And Lupe was going to get on the album too. I had the uh, uh, actual conversation with him face to face because we hung out. And that was supposed to happen too, but it never did. And, you know, it, stuff like that just happens in the game sometimes. But I definitely remember that. I could have had Kanye on the joint if we would have played that right. And that would have been kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> I thought I thought he was about to give me his number or something, and he didn't. But I just laughed. At it. it was something to laugh at. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to share that with you guys. Make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below. Like this video. Check out my last video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Be sure to check out my next video I'm going to post after this one. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at realjhood underscore. And until next time, man, salute three times.